This morning, I woke up and I checked my phone like I always do. My girlfriend had sent me a screenshot of an Instagram notification. It said that her account might be at risk because her credentials were found in a data breach. She didn't click on anything weird though, that's the thing. She hasn't downloaded anything shady and she didn't do anything to deserve this. So how did this then all happen? This is what makes moments like these so revealing. It's not a dramatic hack, it's the internet quietly keeping track of things we don't even remember member but we have done and that's exactly where most people's idea about hacking completely diverged from reality when people hear hacker they picture someone furiously breaking into accounts in real time, red letters flashing on the screen, alarms going off, the Hollywood style shit. Uh, yeah, but the reality is usually much quieter and much more boring, honestly. Information accumulates over years, almost invisibly, and only becomes noticeable when something triggers it, like a notification or just sometimes just a strange coincidence, which, trust me, I have an example for. That Instagram alert is a perfect example that no one sat down to hack my girlfriend. Her information just was a simply part of a much bigger, part, larger puzzle that been building in the background for years. Most hackers don't start by actively breaking into accounts. That's actually just a thing. They start by collecting public profiles, usernames, forum comments, old posts, accounts you even forgot existed. They link them to you. Each piece seems harmless on its own because genuinely it is. But the internet never forgets. That's the crucial reality. Once you start connecting these pieces, patterns begin to form, which is where things start to get interesting, sort of say. And this is exactly exactly what makes it feel like a game. The pieces are out there, you just have to recognize how to fit them together and actually, you know what, speaking of a game, let's play out a little experiment. Call it a game. Imagine a completely, completely fictional person, that is. L let's call him Alex. Alex doesn't even exist, so relax. All you know is the same username shows up a few times online. Uh, Alex posts mostly in the evenings, always in English, and comments on gaming and tech. Without looking anything up, you already know more than you think. A rough time zone, a probable interests and likely platforms. Nothing was hacked. That's the thing. You just observed a few patterns. And if you really think about it, this is basically what people on parts of the internet do all the time. Except sometimes it turns from a fun puzzle into something that actually reverses a person in your life, which is really scary. Speaking of that, there is a one example you've probably heard of, but if you didn't, don't worry, I'll still explain it. The infamous foot lettuce incident on 4chan. And 4chan just seems to be the place, <laughs> just seems to be the right place to even mention here. And here is where all of this ties into perfectly. The Foot Lettuce. So the Foot Lettuce story starts with a short viral video. Someone joking about a fast food employee stepping on lettuce. I don't even know if it's a joke, but that's it. Just a harmless. It's, it's kind of dumb, but anyways. But in 4chan, people went wild with it. They began noticing tiny details, reflections, backgrounds, uniform details, timestamp, and none of this was hacking. That's the thing. N nothing was exploited, though. It's just obsessive attention to publicly available clues. And suddenly, a joke turned into a full-scale investigation. People piece together enough information to identify a location, sometimes even the employee, all through pattern recognition and collaboration. If you think about it, Axif data was honestly just a number one thing they relied on because it revealed the geolocation of the person. So that's why they called this autistic work. Now, no worry, these are their words, not even mine. And it actually exactly shows how harmless seeming information can accumulate into something revealing if enough people are paying attention to it. And yeah, the employee got fired 20 minutes after the post was made. And then brings us to our fictional character, Alex. If enough people notice patterns, connect dots, and share observations, a profile begins to emerge naturally. And again, I'm repeating, this is not hacking, it's just patient and ob ob blah, observation. Now, let's layer in data breach. Remember that Instagram notification my girlfriend got? Companies get breached all the time. Emails, passwords, phone numbers, all exposed, often surfacing for years later. Combine that with public observation, pattern recognition, and suddenly the puzzle isn't just theory. It's actually having real consequences. And this is why nothing dramatic often still feels very real. I mean, the notification my girlfriend got is nothing to be worried about. It's just that her password was in a breach and password updates is literally what fixes this issue. Imagine someone noticing Alex's username appears on multiple platforms. You know, posting habits match, email patterns are consistent. Piece by piece, an identity emerges. 
And now Alex is a connected profile, as we call it. Still nothing was hacked. Again, no systems were breached. Passwords weren't cracked yet. Just dots were connected and, you know, patience was applied. And that's honestly the part that's kind of fun in a, in a twisted way. You know, it's a mental puzzle. You can always feel yourself thinking like a person connecting the dots even without ever actually doing anything illegal or unethical. Yet it feels twisted. And here, I'll actually blur out everything on the screen so YouTube doesn't, you know, come after me. Uh, yeah, this is just a nice little tool which if I know your name, I could probably find much about you from data breaches. So yeah, it's very scary. But here's where it gets very crucial. The real vulnerability in all of this is not actually software. It's just us. It's human behavior. Oversharing, honestly, reusing usernames, assuming all the accounts don't matter, trusting the platforms keep data forever. These habits create the patterns we have been talking about. I mean, look at what's going on in UK. You're kind of being forced to give out your ID to a company which cannot keep your information secret. Hackers and even just casual internet researchers understand this. That's why they focus on people first and then system second. Because systems can be changed, patched or reset, but human behavior, that's harder to fix. I mean, take a look at the Linus Tech Tips hack. Hackers probably ran a little test to see who works for him and then found the most naive person and sent the malware, which was ultimately ran and resulted in a Bitcoin scam stream. Yes, it's big bad. So the screenshot from my girlfriend this morning, you know, it wasn't really shocking. It was just a reminder for you, for me, for her, for everybody that uses the internet. A reminder that isn't really rare. It isn't personal honestly. It's just the way that internet works now. Your information usually isn't taken in one dramatic moment as I've said. It slowly leaks quietly until one day you get a notification you weren't expecting. Privacy isn't about disappearing, it's just about being intentional with what you leave behind. And if you understand that, even small adjustments, how you share, what accounts reuse, what you post publicly suddenly matter a lot more than you think. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, please like it, subscribe, you know, I don't know. And also check out my courses in the description. I teach about hacking and yeah, I think you should definitely check them out. Also, follow me on Instagram, join my Discord server, and as always, peace.